Hey YouTube, it's Mike here, Baseball Collector, coming at you Saturday morning, really early. And I want to do a video about my mail day yesterday and also make some commentary on some things. I have uh, been thinking about some things lately and thought I'd share it with you. The first of all is, I don't know if you've noticed, but my eBay purchases are taking forever to get to me. Then they, when I look at the tracking online, it is going all over the place. It'll sit in Chicago for four or five days and then move to Vernon Hills, Illinois or something goofy. I'm like, where is my package going? Why isn't it getting here? And it's really annoying. It seems to be taking forever. Um, now I'm going to show my mail day and then I'll make my other commentary. But first, before I do that, Texas Rangers, Ray from Philly. Rangers on a 10-game winning streak after beating Detroit last night, swept the Phillies, the A's, and took three out of four from the Padres. But they've won 10 in a row, hottest team in baseball, and yet still cannot seem to even sniff first place in the American League West because the Astros are having a cra crazy good record. Okay, mail day. Try to keep this short. So I got another uh, five-star Hall of Famer autograph. I'm looking at my spreadsheet right now. This is my 41st Hall of Famer to get 13th different, I'm sorry, that's not right, 28th different one, uh, 28 different Hall of Famers, 41st card total because I have multiple of several of them, including this guy. Pull that back a little bit. Tom Glavin, 2016, Tom Glavin, numbered to 50. I paid, hold on, not very much. Again, you can find these things really cheap if you want. $17.93 delivered is what I paid for Tom Glavin. The second card I got in the mail yesterday is really neat. Um, obviously I love Hall of Famers. You guys know that from watching my channel, but I really am looking behind me at all the Hall of Famers on my wall. But, you know, just getting cards of them is not something that I've really really been interested in as far as just getting random Nolan Ryans or Hank Aaron's or Willie Mays. But I found a card online. I was looking for one particular card and found another one and I couldn't help but buy it. In the top 300 set registry for PSA, there's a 1959 Tops, I'm sorry, 1959 Fleer Ted Williams card. Uh, the, the caption says Ted signs for 59. In 1959, Fleer did an entire set for Ted Williams. I can't remember how many cards were in it, but it's a lot. And they chronicle different, each card chronicles a significant part of his career. And <clears throat> so I was looking at 1959 Fleer Ted Williams PSA, and I found this card, and I could not resist buying it. I gotta look up what I paid for it. It was, I paid, unless I got rid of it, it was, 15 or $16 for this card. And I couldn't help it because it looked so pretty. And I'll just show it and then talk about it. Let me pull it back. So this is from 59 Fleer. Ted reaches 400, 400th home run. So it's got a painting slash picture of him. It says in 1956, Ted reaches 400th homer. It shows him holding a bat and a ball with 400 on him. It just looked like a really great card, and look how pretty it is. I mean, it's a PSA 7, but it's really, really pretty. I think what knocks it down is maybe some of the tinting of the color of the card. The corners are beautiful. The centering's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And overall, I just I was like, God, that's a cool moment from Hank uh, Ted Williams' career. And... From a neat little set so I bought it again really random because it doesn't really fit in my collection it doesn't part belong to any set registry it doesn't uh, don't autograph or anything like that but I just I just needed to have it. that's kind of how this hobby goes sometimes which leads me to my last comment of the day and I'll let you guys go you know I'm watching a lot more videos online since I've been contributing to my own channel, watching people, and I watch them break, and, and Ricky Russo, who I love, by the way, 
His stuff is great. The way he does his videos, he makes me laugh. He's very funny, very knowledgeable. Watch him break stuff over and over. He's breaking box after box every day of everything you can imagine, football, basketball, uh, baseball, every kind of product. And I think how much money he is throwing away doing that and how I would never want to be that guy because I'm a single, I want the best cards of that set. I can, why spend however much money you do on a case or multiple cases not knowing what you're going to get when you could take an equivalent amount of that money and buy all the cards you want out of that set. And I know it's the hunt and the chase for the big hit and I, I understand that's why they do it. It makes no logical sense to me to do that. So, you know, good on them. I'm just going to keep buying singles. And I, again, I also don't understand the whole prospecting thing and why people are spending gobs of money on players that have never done anything in their career when they could go out and buy for the same amount of money a dozen Hall of Famer autographs. Somebody who has done something in their career has established themselves, proven themselves. And you could get a player that, again, once you're a Hall of Famer, you're always a Hall of Famer. Prospects are, you know, totally hit and miss. You just have no idea who's going to really be good. And it just seems like a total waste of money to me. But that's why this hobby is great. Everybody can collect what they like to collect. Who am I to judge them? Knock yourself out. It Actually, it makes it better because it's just less competition for me on the things that I want to collect. So keep buying all your stupid prospects and keep opening cases like crazy and spending gobs of money on that just to get cards you hate and go, man, I lost money on this case. Well, no kidding. You're going to lose money 90% of the time as you open cases. So keep doing it. Thank you because it just puts more singles out on the market for me to buy. Thank you very much. Uh, that's my commentary. I'm done today. I hope everybody has a great weekend, enjoys your Saturday, and keep collecting.